Uh, hi, I'm David. Uh, welcome to another Scalar video. Today I want to take you through composing for a video game. So this is a, um, a great little game um, that I was asked to do some music for called Town Squared, um, which is made by uh, Play Lunch Games here in Australia. Um, and it's effectively a game um, uh, that really focuses on uh, maths and equations for kids aimed between 6 and 12. Um, so um, we're expecting big things from it. Um, I think the brief really was about making something um, charming and beautiful. So uh, first thing, of course, um, is to pull up Scalar and um, get it to help me come up with some harmonic content. Um, so, um, okay, so what I've done, uh, what I'm going to start by doing is, obviously I can always go into songs and scales and kind of play around there, but actually I, I want... I kind of want um, to, you know, figure out a chord my, my, myself, you know, start with something nice. Now, obviously I know I've got to play, I've, I've really got to focus around major chords, you know. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to keep the same pattern. Um, here I've got a, a A flat major chord. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of um, uh, add a bass note. So just add the A-flat major, just as I've got here there. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to try and invert one of those notes. So I'll try by inverting that major third there and bring him down to F here. It feels a little bit sad, so I might go back to where I was, the straight chord, and I might try and invert that um, that perfect fifth so bring that um, that E flat down here yeah that, that feels like a nice starting point I could have come up with any chord but I'm actually going to have um, scalar um, detect and tell ask I'm just going to hit the record button here and get scalar to tell me what chord I'm playing because I want to start using scalar so there it is, um, correctly detected the A-flat major. That's exactly what I was playing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in the A-flat major straight into the progression builder down the bottom. Yeah, and I'm gonna go into suggest mode because now I wanna kind of start to make a progression. Sure, I can play around with these chords. Um, um, which are the diatonic chords of that scale, but I, I want Scalar to start suggesting some stuff based on what I played. So I could go straight into tonal mode um, and it can start to give me some really nice chords which are kind of voiced the same way. Um, I quite like that E flat major, so I'm just gonna bring that straight down. So I'm gonna go into the uh, A flat major, E flat major. I'm gonna hit the auto detect mode um, uh, in the suggest panel just so I can make sure I know where I am and it's correctly saying well you're in the A flat major scale which is happy light bright and positive um, so that all sounds good that sounds like where I should be um, I might actually come across into per scale mode I don't want to try and be too um, revolutionary or creative I want to stick to the paradigm of you know major chords and nice chords and everything nice and simple it is for kids after all um, so, yep, okay, I've got the A flat major, into the A flat, into the E flat major. I, obviously, I don't want to go into minors because it's not fitting the beautiful kind of charming. So, I'm going to go the A flat, uh, E flat. Um, I could go straight into the D flat major. I want to be a little creative, so I'm going to lean on Scalar to kind of give me some options. I'm looking at these sus chords here. There's a sus2, A-flat sus2, E-flat e sus2. I like the A-flat sus2. Still feeling kind of nice and positive, but it's giving me that, yeah, just that nice little edge. I want to, I really liked when I came back here from the E-flat major, I quite like that, that D-flat major. So I've, I've come back by selecting this, um, the little flag in this chord and say suggest again from there because I really want I like that D flat major. So now I've I'm going to bind it. Now I've got a fairly straightforward chord progression. Um, you know, does it fit? I can open up the um, video, hit play. Yep. 
yeah, it's getting there. It's feeling like it's the right thing. Um, so I might, I might do a little variation. I might say, okay, cool. Um, let's go for a, a, another variation. Sorry, I'll copy that chord across. Um, let's go for another variation. Um, this time I'm going to play the D flat major, but I might I might have a look around and close suggest mode and just see what else is in the scale. Um, so I can see the majors are here. I've already kind of used those, so maybe I might go for a variation on this. I might pull this D major, um, this E major. Um, now they're obviously too high. You can see from binding the area, if I was to play through and go, uh, and then start again on the A flat major and come up here. Uh, they're a little too high, they're an octave too high. So I'm gonna grab them both. Uh, and I might just come into edit mode here and uh, they're both highlighted and I'll select an octave down. Yeah, that's cool. Um, that's good. Um, that's where I want them. So let's have a quick listen to that. And I might come back to that D flat major, that same one there, and that's just basically coming back. You can see the um, the chord functions. I'm playing a one, five, one, that's a sus two, four, and then effectively that's my chord progression, isn't it? One, four, five, four to finish off with. One, five, one, four, one, four, five, four. So scale has really made it very easy for me to come up with that chord progression. We're gonna record it in. to a different D flat major into a different E flat major or effectively coming back to the D flat major and it's going to spin around yep great okay so there's the notes there and yeah starting to get a feel um, for the chordal structure works nice enough now we need to start you know patting it out to make it feel a little bit more fun because yeah, sure, it sounds nice and major, but it doesn't really sound fun. Um, okay, so what I want to do is I now want to scale it to start controlling some other instruments. Um, so if I come into a new scaler here, um, actually, if I go back, um, normally we know that we can sync all scalers. Yeah, it's a very common trick to sync, sync all scalers, but we can also export state. So if you, it's a really cool way to say, let say you export the state. And then if I pull up, say, now I want a MIDI effects, I'm moving from a scalar instrument to a scalar MIDI effects in Logic. But if you're um, moving from any two scalars across different doors and you want a bulletproof method of being able to um, import the same thing, you can always, obviously you can sync, but you can also import state. And that works really nicely because I come back to my desktop, um, there was the state and I just open and import it and there it is exactly the same. So that means I can copy these notes down and now Scalar is going to, on this channel, trigger whatever instrument I put down here. Um, okay, I'm going to pull up Contact um, and I'm going to call up their excellent um, piano colours. Okay, it's got some really nice um, modulations and movements and sequences within, um, so I think it'll suit being able to as a very nice and easy way to introduce a kind of a more fun element. Um, that should be it really. Uh, Scalar is controlling the piano colors. Um, there's the chords from Scalar. It should now be controlling these guys. I've copied the, the actual notes down. Um, so let's hit play. It's on the standard patch. I didn't change the patch, which is aleatoric sequence. So it's got some nice randomness and variety to it. Let's have a play. Go for the second part of the chord progression. A different D flat major here. Yeah, cool. So that's that's nice. That's kind of um, giving us some of the beauty that we require. 
I'm going to duplicate that now that I've got my chords. Again, it's the same kind of process with me. There's so many different ways to use Scalar. But in this instance, I'm, I'm trying to be um, f uh, fairly um, quick in that um, it's, it's, a, it's fairly straightforward brief. Um, it's just got to be um, alluring and beautiful and charming and a little bit of fun. So really it's just about, I like the chord progression, it's just about getting Scalar to trigger a few more different things. So I've copied that exact channel um, across uh, to a new channel here, duplicated it. Um, and of course it'll have duplicated piano colors. And now I'm going to go in, I'm going to choose a different um, patch. I'm going to go pattern and I'm going to go drops. Um, and if we have a quick listen to that, drops. So that's kind of got that repeating triplet note. Um, Yeah, cool. So that's really sweet. Um, that's really ramping up that element of charm. Uh, I think that's important. Um, one thing to note about this particular scene in this video game, it's the theme music in that uh, a lot of the players will spend a lot of the time in the town square. Obviously, town squared, which is a play on words for the fact that it's a, a game effectively about mathematics and learning. Um, so we need to make sure that the music is palatable and not overly repetitive um, or too melodic and that it sits in the background nicely and can loop around. So we can do some variations for that. But yep, I've got the piano section going. Um, now I'm going to come in and I'm going to um, duplicate again, just duplicate that, that, um, that scalar and pull the notes down. So it's going to be playing exactly the same thing. I'm going to solo it. I'm going to open up the contact uh, and this time I'm going to pull up um, some guitar um, and I'm going to pull up, um, I might go picked nylon. Uh, it's a great instrument. You see me using them a lot in the scalar videos. Um, I might, uh, might go for measured tremolo. Um, and uh, if we solo that, um, now the first thing you'll note is that Scalar is going to be playing the chords across uh, the range here and that's not going to be great because it's going to be playing these trigger keys so it'll actually switch, play those key switches. Um, you can see it's actually changing the patch because it's playing in this area. So um, I might say, I might come into the Scalar and I might use um, um, guitar turn on the voice grouping and use guitar voicing and that will keep it in that kind of like the guitar range now this is intended to use with guitar instruments um, and it just so happens that it'll also put it um, this pick nylon being a guitar instrument that'll also put it in that right range you can see yeah it just keeps it in that range there yep great um, I kind of like the fact that you can switch around you know for every chord you can switch to a different patch Um, uh, so I might actually, I might move, um, for each chord I might say move um, where it's playing. So C1, when I trigger C1 here you can see it's actually going to trigger um, the measured tremolo. So I might say, okay, um, let's just swap, let's go C, D, um, just get it on the right actual position. So now I'm going to be swapping the the patch, come back to C, and then for a bit of variety, go up to the um, the E flat, and I might just copy those across. So, with any luck, um, if we pull up that um, the contact there, it should play the first one. Now it should swap. Yep, it has. Great. Back to that one, and now it should move up. Yep, to the D. Great. Uh, you can see there, C to trigger C1, which is the measured tremolo A, then into the measured tremolo C, back to the measured tremolo A, and now up to the measured tremolo D. Cool, that's sounding good. Um, let's have a look at how that works with everything to picture so far, just to make sure we're on the right vibe.
Yeah, cool. I like it. Um, so what we'll do there is we will... Um, we're going to just have a little B section, if you like. Now, obviously, for the final video game, I probably... I don't do much, but I, I, I did actually do a little bit of variety uh, in that um, I kind of had an A, B and a smaller C section, which you can check out if, it, if and when you play the game. Okay, so I might just for a bit of variety duplicate this, pull those chords down, um, and I'm just going to get another guitar, another patch. So uh, pick nylon. Um, this time I might come in and I might just go to the to the calm C um, uh, and select it. Okay, cool. So we're in the calm C, um, and I might actually just uh, let's have a listen to that in isolation, um, solo and play. Yep. Uh, yeah, I might actually just tell it to sit maybe on um, calm C, C. Uh, um, through no coincidence there, calm C, C. Yeah, that's cool for a little B section. Um, and obviously I, I copied that scalar control across which had the voice grouping still on guitar voicing so it works perfectly with that patch. Um, cool. Um, okay, I'm going to duplicate um, going to duplicate one of the earlier scalers um, that, that doesn't have the key switches for the guitar because I'm planning on using it for... Um, say some type of orchestral patch so here we go again to give it some more variety um, so it's on that drops piano colors at the moment that's the channel that I copied I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna come across and ask for uh, let's go orchestra complete yep um, could use sonokinetic strings but I'm gonna use orchestra complete um, I'm gonna pull up complete to I'm gonna look for a patch here um, Magical, that sounds good. Uh, and if we scroll down, um, Enchanting Moment, that sounds good too. So, okay, so pull up Enchanting Moment. Yep. Yeah, cool. It's got lots of lovely textures. I, I really like the sound of that um, that choir. So I'm actually going to mute everything. Um, yeah, cool. That sounds good. Um, just turn it down a smidgen. So yeah, so effectively, what's happening here is I have I have a section A and a section B and really all that's coming in is the choir and that alternate um, guitar so getting there let's have a quick listen For a bit of variety, we're going to come into this um, section B. And that's going to give us the second guitar and the choir. Here we go. Yeah, cool. So I think the vibe's right. Um, I think it just needs some melodic content to, to really to finish it off. So um, I'm going to let's let's pull up. Um, yeah, let's pull up that same. Let's duplicate that same orchestral patch. Let's bring it down the bottom here. Um, and I'm going to copy um, those notes down, but I'm not going to use the orchestra here. Um, I'm going to actually get rid of it, and I'm going to, I want to make some kind of, I'll just 
mute the scalar for now because I want to listen to it, any instrument. I'm going to search for keys. Um, and yeah, let's try Mosiac keys from Heaviosity. That's really nice. Um, so scale is not doing anything here. Okay, so just hearing Mosiac keys on its own. There it is. Uh, I think the scale I'm in is A flat major. Thanks to Scalar, I've learnt some scales. So I think that's um, yep, cool. So that's the that's the scale. Now, if I wanted to play a melody, of course, you know, I'm just not a good enough keys player, and I, I just don't know scales well enough. But I could be starting with that with that chord. Um, you know, I'm playing a kind of A flat C and um, D sharp, and you know, I could play the notes of that chord. You know, or I could do a melody. So start on the second, um, but then moving the chords around and finding the relevant root third and fifth of the next chord is very difficult. That's where Scalar makes it really, really easy. Um, so if I pull the Scalar back up. Um, and uh, also um, pull the, um, let's have a quick listen. Yeah, I'm just gonna just turn the noise down a little bit in that mosaic keys. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so it's playing that, great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna come in a keys lock and uh, I could just go scale notes mapped. So that basically is gonna map all the, the notes you know, uh, of the scale, so it's all correct. That's cool, but actually what I wanted to do is lock the um, the notes to the chords and extensions of those chords. So to, basically to make it very easy for me to try and replicate what I was doing before to say, okay, I'm playing a, an A flat, a C and a, an E flat. Um, I want to play those notes up here and kind of move around with the chords. So now I'm in um, chord extensions, I can play the chord um, and these these notes are the notes of the chord and their extension. So I could do any pattern really. It's all about finding patterns, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to tr try something very simple. I'm going to kind of go first chord, which is the A flat major, um, and play the second of that chord, which is the uh, the C, which is the major third, um, and kind of go. So I'm swapping chords. You can see I'm swapping chords as I'm playing here. Now I'll go to the root of the third chord, which happens to be the A A flat sus, and it's the A. Um, the second of that chord and the second of the next chord um, um, up to the third of that chord um, and then come down to the uh, second of that A flat major and kind of follow that pattern. Okay, so th that's that with the chords that are being played in the tune. That was the melody that I'm kind of thinking. If I try and do that a little bit faster, let's see how we go, just so you can kind of get an idea. I'm literally playing through that chord progression. Um, and I'm just moving. I'm, I'm really, really playing only the C, D, E, which is effectively locking to the first, the second, and the third degree of the chords that I'm playing. Uh, so let's try and do that a little bit faster. back around to the start. Cool, all right, let's, um, as I've got the chords playing, I should be able to do that, actually, the, the chords are being triggered by Scalar, um, and so I should just focus on my right hand and try and record um, that exact melody in. Let's see how we go.
Cool. Um, that that worked. That seemed nice. Let's just check it through. There's the chords. I could, you know, I could just um, delete the sec one and copy that. So it gives me that melodic col content. Uh, let's have a listen with everything else. Yeah, as it goes off again, I might just make a couple of quick adjustments here. Uh, kind of um, just do that for the first section. Um, uh, some of the notes were slightly late. That's okay, I don't mind them being slightly late. Um, I kind of played it on purpose to be such. Cool, but maybe for this second section when it kicks in with everything, I might just make the note slightly more on time. Yep, cool. Um, and might just grab the velocity of those notes um, and just turn them up a little bit. Uh, for that second section um, so okay um, so I've got an A and B section I've pretty much got the whole idea for the tune I might um, just pop it up um, um, and just kind of go through one by one so the first thing we did is we got scalar um, and we play just the piano chords um, we got our chord progression then we um, kind of went to, um, we asked Scalar to control um, the piano colours, same chords. Um, then we came across to same thing, copied Scalar, copied those chords again, uh, this time played drops, um, then came across and booted up Scalar, same chords, now triggering that guitar um, and then yeah we came in and got Mosaic keys and you can see the chords are being played and then scalars actually fit you can see I was only playing the C D E but you can see here quite clearly it's playing it running it in with the chords quite interesting to see that live um, and if I unsol everything so we can hear the whole lot Have a look at the video. I wanted to um, I could easily um, just do a quick little outro piece and yes I could basically just come back in here couldn't I and um, copy this um, um, copy the I think it's the drop sequence um, just for the outro um, and then also copy um, one of the maybe the first guitar that we've used yeah, so then we can just basically have a little section here that comes out and gives us a little outro. We could even mute this, uh, kind of mute this guitar here if you like. And that enables us to have what one minute 30 just a quick one minute 30 piece swings back around to the start and off we go
Yeah, so basically, really nice, simple idea um, and just demonstrates how easy it is to kind of pull Scalar up and really it was about finding that chord progression and what I wanted to do is have some creative input to start it off to find my own chord. Whether I know my chords or know my theory, just find something I like, then go into suggest mode and have Scalar tell me what scale and key I was in, suggest some other chords based on that, that voicing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, based on that voicing and then suggest some other chords um, to go with and then just really copy that across to all the different textures um, and finally come up, ask Scalar to come up and help me create a, um, a melody. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, thank you very much, uh, firstly, for Play Lunch Games and uh, the, the great project that is Town Squared. Lots of other pieces if you ever want to check out the game. If you've got kids, it's a really, really good one for them. Um, and um, most importantly, thank you very much for supporting Scalar 2.